So without further ado, let's take a look at our top five picks for drawing tablets in 2020. At number five, it's the Huion Inspiroi Q11K. One of the best graphics tablet manufacturers in the market is Huion. Over the last few years, they've managed to produce some excellent drawing tablets. One of the best is the Huion Inspiroi Q11K. I'd highly recommend this drawing tablet not only to people that are experienced with tablets, but also to beginners. It has a pretty nice design and the working area is 11 by good enough. As soon as you open the box, you'll realize that the company is serious about providing quality to its customers. In the box, you'll find a tablet, a pen, pen stand, tablet cable, USB type A to micro USB, a wireless receiver, driver installation CD, eight pen nib replacements, and a user manual. The design of this one is pretty sleek and simple. The surface of the tablet is very smooth and it has enough texture to prevent you from sliding. On the bottom of the tablet, there are four rubber feet and they do a pretty good. Moving on to the pen, which is made of full matte plastic with an interesting design that feels very comfortable to hold. On the top, it has the charging hole for plugging in the pen charging cable. This tablet has 8,192 levels of pressure sensitivity, which deliver ultimate accuracy and incredible performance. It has a built-in 2500 mAh lithium-ion battery, which can be used without being connected for about 40 hours, which is amazing. With 2.4G wireless connection, 8 customizable shortcut key, 192 levels of pen pressure sensitivity, this tablet managed to take place in our top 5 picks because it's one of the best. At number 4, it's the Weon 1060 Plus. If you're looking for a nice looking large graphics tablet that comes at a good price point, the Weon 1060 Plus might be the one for you. This one has a very nice looking design and it's made of textured hard plastic. Inside the box you'll find the tablet, stylus, USB cable, driver disc, USB charging cable for the stylus and the manual. Pretty solid build quality and it'll last you for years without a problem. It comes with 12 express keys that act as shortcuts to preset functions. Furthermore, you should also know that there are 16 soft keys on the drawing surface that you can access with a great stylus. Something I don't like about this one is the position of the USB port. The USB port is placed in the middle and when you use the express keys your hands will be over the wire most of the time. However, that's a minor disadvantage and I don't think it'll affect your work. The stylus on the other hand is well built and it has it that doesn't slip. This one has 8192 levels of pen pressure sensitivity and you can enjoy accurate and smooth lines when using this one. It's compatible with Windows XP, Vista 7, 8, 10, Mac 10.7.4 or higher. It has a 10 by 6.25 inch active area. Something else I should mention is that this one works pretty well with Photoshop. However, I noticed it didn't mesh 100% with Photoshop. It may not be the best, but it still does a pretty good job as it comes at a very reasonable price. It has many more great features that you should check out and see if this is the one you were looking for. At number three, it's the Wacom Intuos CTL4100. Moving on, we have an amazing tablet, this time from Wacom. It's the Intuos CTL4100. This one is a great drawing tablet for beginners. Wacom leads the industry in this segment, and with the Intuos CTL4100, the company has proven that it's one of the best. This one has excellent pressure, great size, an affordable price, and many more great features that might help you a lot. This one has a screen-free design. The drawing surface of the tablet corresponds to your monitor, meaning it works like a trackpad. This may sound counterintuitive, but after you use it for a week or two, you'll get used to it. The drawing surface of the Intuos CTL4100 is 7.9 by 6.3 inches large. That's pretty generous. And on top of it, you'll find five express keys that have a convex shape to double its function for resting the pen. The middle button also is helpful for setting up the Bluetooth connection. You can customize the other four buttons depending on your preference and needs. The pen, on the other hand, is just amazing. It feels great in hand, and on its side, you'll find two buttons that can be customized to your liking. It's a well-built tablet, and it's made from a smooth plastic that feels excellent and will fit right into your office desk or home studio. Underneath, you'll find four rubber pads that will provide grip so the tablet won't slide around. It's a very great tablet, and I would highly recommend this one to you, and want a tablet that's not very expensive, but has plenty of great features. At number two, it's the Wacom Cintiq Pro 24. Another great tablet from Wacom is the Cintiq Pro 24. This one is the perfect drawing tablet as it can also act as a standalone PC thanks to its large size, excellent screen, best in the industry pen and Wacom Pro engine. It's one of the best without a doubt. However, I should mention that this product is pricey and is mainly designed and manufactured for professional accuracy and colors. But if your job requires those, it'll justify its price. 
This tablet has a pretty cool design, and the tablet itself measures 26.65 by 15.5 inches, and is designed to sit on a desk and be sure to have space for it. Compared to other all-in-ones, this one feels and looks very chunky, but it is a professional drawing tablet, so that justifies the decision of building it like this. It's very comfortable to work with, and it has a very solid build quality. It has a great rear stand that doesn't move around. Peak Pro 24 comes with a Pro Pen 2, like the Cintiq 16, and it offers a perfect 8192 pressure sensitivity levels, which is amazing. The pen delivers the best drawing experience in the market, as it's super accurate and is extremely versatile, working with a wide range of software. I've been quite impressed with this one. It's a very expensive drawing tablet, but if you want one of the best, you should consider taking a look at this beast. And at number one, it's the Wacom Intuos Pro. As our Tom Intuos Pro, for creating digital art, you need special tools, and those don't get better than Wacom's. It leads the industry in this segment, and it has set the standard for other companies. It has a wide range of drawing boards. I was particularly impressed with the Wacom Intuos, which was excellent for beginners, thanks to its excellent pressure-sensitive pen control, good size, good features, and affordable price. If you want to get started with digital art, this is the way to go. It has a nice design with an active area of 8.82 3 inches. It feels really nice to use and it works well on a desk or your lap. It has a very impressive build quality and the tablet itself looks pretty good thanks to the sleek black modern design. The surface of the Intuos Pro offers a good amount of resistance and it feels very natural to move the pen around. Furthermore, the pen feels great as well. It's thin and very comfortable to use. I notice that the grip of the pen feels comfortable over long periods and it won't slip. The device has eight express keys and four have tactile feedback, which is very smooth, and then one button has a raised line and the other has a raised dot. This is a minor detail, but it's very useful because it allows you to distinguish between buttons without the need to look down. Moreover, the Intuos Pro delivers 2048 levels of pen pressure sensitivity and tilt recognition. You can zoom, pan and navigate naturally with gestures on the multi-touch surface of this one. It has many more great features that you should check out and see if it's the one for you, because the Intuos Pro is without a doubt a worth.